So going to the end of maps in video games is something that I'm always curious about and especially when you get to the end of the map and you're able to break the barrier, that's where things get more exciting because it then becomes a question on how far can you just go. So it's exactly what happened to me in Hogwarts Legacy. I was able to get to the end of the map, I then turned on a waypoint to see just how far out I got and how far I can go until I get stopped and two unexpected things happened. Now it's something you definitely want to try out and it's what you're seeing in the background but as I'm showing it to you guys I'm gonna give you some context and a bit of a story. So I was somehow able to break the wall and just venture off. My curiosity then led me to the seafront and at that point I was just super eager to figure out how far I can go. Now because I broke the wall I was also curious to know if I did break the ceiling for the most part and whether or not I can go much higher than you know you currently can. The sad news is I was not, but again to give you some context and you'll be seeing it all in the background, I just kept going and going, which I'll just quickly add here as well, was incredibly relaxing. So I kept moving up and down just to see if anything would happen, which it did not, and then suddenly as I kept going, I figured the water was changing and it just suddenly went flat. Now if you've ever been deep deep into the ocean, hopefully you get what I mean. It just felt incredibly eerie. Now the sunset had already kicked in and at that point I had literally been zooming through the air for ages. I mean it felt like such a long time, I didn't actually time it but it was long enough for me to say it felt like it was taking forever. And then all of a sudden the music kicked in at the perfect time which made the whole mood and scene just feel incredibly different. Just listen to this. Do you see what I mean? It just feels weird, right? At this point, I genuinely felt like I was doing something wrong, but I was too deep in this to now just turn back. So I was either going to keep going until I was forced to stop, or hopefully the giant squid was going to jump out and attempt to stop me. That, at that point, was pretty much my conclusion. There was no other option. I even checked the map to see how far I was, which was a good sign because my icon was still very there, but soon I was not even going to be detected on that radar. So more time passes by, I'm seeing this weird shiny light reflecting on the sea which at first I assumed was the moon but it just felt a little too bright. In the end however, I just accepted it as the moon because I honestly felt like I was going crazy at that point. So anyway, it goes pitch black and I decided to keep going because I spotted a random island and was very eager to see if I could land on it and then explore it but I was literally in darkness at one point so I just stopped for it to basically go back to daytime and when I had the intention that that was going to kick in Wow, was I in for a surprise. It took forever. It took so much longer than it usually does, way longer than usual. At one point, I actually thought the game was broken and the day and night system was just stuck at night. Now, thankfully, it was still working and eventually daytime kicked back in. So I went to the island, so to say, to basically try to land and as expected, I just went right through it, which again, it was an element on, hmm, I kind of knew it was going to be a thing, but I was like, it would also be cool if I could just land on it and then see if I can actually swim on the water as well. Now, that wasn't a thing. So, I was still curious and I noticed the textures were, of course, terrible. Again, all sort of expected for the most part. And the height restriction was also still in place, but this is where things started to change. So, I felt I was literally able to see the edge of the map and I was right. It was the edge, so I just kept going to see if it was a literal edge, which funny enough it also was. So it was almost like at this point I'm leaving the universe and it just felt weird. Like when does this stop? Because usually most games at this point you're stopped in your tracks for the most part or something just happens to the game that prevents you going any further. So I crossed the line and I was 
basically in pure emptiness. So I put the map on, placed a waypoint just to see how far I was and then came to the realization on how far I was and that there is no sign of stopping. So the edge of the map was something I did not expect. As I say, so many games do not even let you get close to that, let alone cross it. So now I'm just going and going and going and the music kicks back in just making the whole thing feel incredibly magical and at the same time the speed effect made me genuinely feel like I was time traveling. It was so cool. Then I decided to nosedive just because and then I got stuck in that nosedive position and was basically going down so I decided to just cast Revelio at this point because why not? I don't even know why I thought of not doing it beforehand but I did that and then I was in for another a surprise because it bugged out. So now I'm just plummeting to the ground for the most part. Revelio is just completely bugged out but you know how you get the spark effect? It makes things you know just feel a lot cooler. I mean at this point in conclusion it honestly felt like the 1800s version of Back to the Future. I seriously thought I was going to teleport and then the unexpected happened. So at this point I'm basically in this, I guess you could say a landing position, I'm just going down right for about 20 to 30 minutes and there was no ending, at least I think, and that's the mystery that has now been created. I literally left my analog all the way up, literally holding it in my hand, there was no alternative at that point, so I'm just sitting there just basically watching it just go down. I mean, the broomstick's in a downward position. I'm just consistently doing Revelio. I've got sparks. I'm like, okay, I'm also seeing the numbers. Well, at this point, I'm not seeing the numbers, but prior to that, I'm seeing the numbers like increase ridiculously. We got over 10 or 14,000, I believe it was, before I couldn't see it anymore because I wasn't able to, of course, rotate backwards. It was insane. So at this point, I was like, okay, where is the ending of this? So that is the new mystery because I gave up and I don't think we'll ever know if there is an ending and that alone is just incredibly frustrating. You want to try this yourself, stick your analog upwards somehow, maybe leave it there overnight and let's see if there truly, and I seriously mean this, if there truly is an ending for Hogwarts Legacy or does this just go on forever? The crazy part is we may never ever find out because I was doing this at this point for a solid two to three hours just venturing outside of a map completely out of bounds and there was not even one indicator that I am potentially at the bottom of this map or I'm going to be restricted and at that point I just want to know how far that number can go. You definitely want to try it out yourself.